Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Today I have a, such an exciting video to share with you and I'm sharing with you one of my secrets to how I have been able to manifest my desires super quickly. Now I have shared with you in the Law of Attraction series lots of other tips and tricks, but one of the most important things that I have left out is to do with food. Now, I am a massive believer that what you eat, you become. So if you're eating high vibrational food, that's going to help manifest into your reality. It's going to help you harness the power of the law of attraction, close the gap of resistance and help you vibrate at love, which is the frequency where you manifest your desires. Now, if you watch my previous video and I give you my two month update of everything that I have manifested, you are going to be blown away. So make sure you check that one out. It's on the end card at the end of this video. So food is massive for me. Number one, food, I kind of stumbled across this um, way of eating was because I actually wanted to heal my body from the inside out. So I was kind of drawn to um, plant foods, eating foods in their most natural state. Yes, I have the title vegan or plant-based or whatever resonates for you because sometimes vegan has that stigma attached to being like the crazy angry vegans. And I have learned a lot in my vegan journey. One thing is that I noticed that I was able to heal my acne, my digestive issues, I changed the color of my eyes, I lost 10 kilos, I had increased energy levels, and I've never, ever, ever felt happier. Now that, now food kind of was like the catalyst that got the self-love movement um, underway, so to speak. It was like the first thing that I was drawn to. And at the time when I started, I went, actually went raw vegan for six whole months. Nothing cooked or nothing heated above 48 degrees Celsius, which is crazy to me when I think back at it. I was like, how the hell did I do that? I don't eat 100% raw now. I eat high raw in summer because it's hot and I'm kind of drawn to more water rich foods. Um, and in winter, I eat predominantly obviously cooked. Um, but then in between, I kind of like mix it up. Like today for breakfast, I had um, overnight oats. Um, what else did I have? Oh, yesterday for breakfast, I had banana ice cream, which was flavored with peanut butter and blackberries and coconut. And I actually had some toasted oats in there as well. So there's so much variety. And I used to think that vegans used to eat just like rabbit food, like lettuce and carrots, but that is not the case. Anyway, so I started eating high vibrational foods and I started feeling really, really good. And then that kind of linked into other things. And then I discovered the chakras. And then I realized that there are seven chakras and all of the colors in the chakras actually relate to different foods. So if you actually follow my chakra meditation series, you would find out that let's just say, for instance, the heart chakra, which is green. So it's green leafy vegetables. It could be something like I've got cucumber water here which is my new favorite thing at the moment, and it is so hydrating. Um, so berries, like red uh, strawberries, linked to the, um, the root chakra, which is all about stability and grounding. And I just was blown away the more that I kind of discovered. It's like, that links to this, this links to that, and I was kind of like joining the puzzle pieces back together. So food has played a massive impact on my lifestyle. So I don't want you to be thinking right now, if you're not vegan, that you're not going to manifest your heart's true desires. I have just found for me that it was, it, I find that it just puts me in a good frame of mind. When you become plant-based, you have this mental clarity and this conscious awareness and compassion that just infiltrates into your consciousness and you begin to notice things that you've never noticed before, which was like, it's like when you take the rose colored glasses off um, and it just, it really changed my life. So I wanted to share with you this really, really important tip, especially for the lot of newbies that I have towards the MK Love Femme. You guys probably didn't even know that the first two years of my YouTube channel was dedicated purely just to food. I used to be called Mel from Raw Nourishment and then I changed it because I realized that I was more than just food, hence 
the title Melanie Kate Love where, where I'm talking about how love truly heals all blockages and I'm a massive believer in self-love practices and food is actually one of my self-love practices. So just take from this what works best for you. You may not want to, st um, to become vegan, that may not be your intention, but maybe you want to incorporate more of the chakras or actually the chakras are linked to the rainbow. Think of it. And then I always, I was having this amazing conversation with my partner last night and I was like, I need some ideas for this video. I feel like I'm missing a vital link. And he said, well, obviously like the seven chakras are linked to the rainbow because of the colors. But then you think about at the end of a rainbow, there's a pot of gold. And I thought that that was a fabulous metaphor just connected with me. And I was like, oh my God, because when you're eating a rainbow, of fruits and vegetables, you become in alignment because you unblock all of your seven chakras. And it was kind of like that aha moment yesterday. I was like laying down on the floor. I had a pillow on my head and my, I was kind of had my legs on the couch. I always, that's how I meditate. And I was trying to ask the universe for help. And then Peter goes, boom, this. And I was like, that's it. I've got to tell my MK Love fam. So let me just consult my notes and see if I've told you everything. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's basically it. So I just wanted to give you a little insight into the high vibrational foods that I'm eating. Everything that I'm about to show you on the screen, I have created myself and I'm not a cook. Okay, no, let me just say, I love eating beautiful, delicious foods, but I am lazy. I don't like lots of ingredients and I like it to be very, very quick because if I'm hungry, I'm hungry and I want to eat right now. Um, so you're welcome to watch this next part, which is kind of like my part two of this video. I just wanted to remind you before I go, have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Take from this video what is resonating to you. And I hope that it helps you close the gap to resistance on your law of attraction slash manifestation journey because it's going to help you vibrate on the frequency of love and manifest your heart's true desires. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Have an amazing day. I will see you next episode. Enjoy the rest of the video. Bye.